Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim in the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. All praise be to Allah, the Master of the Day of Judgment, and peace and blessings be upon our beloved Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. O Allah, accept our prayers, fasting and supplications. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome to your program, The Choice. I salute you all with a salutation of the people of paradise. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa And I would like to introduce my honorable brother, <laughs> Ahmed bin Barak al Mutani. How are you, Ahmed, today? I'm good. How are you? It's nice to have you on the show. Just very busy with final exams. MashaAllah. Yeah. May Allah uh, reward you for all this effort, inshallah. Thank you. And uh, we want to inform our listeners that this is a live show and we have two numbers for today. Uh, that you can call and uh, tell us what you think of the show during the show. Uh, the first number is 2460205824602058 2460205824602058 and the second number is 2460269829 that's 2460269829 and this is a live show and it's going to be repeated in the evening at 7 p.m. and uploaded on the SoundCloud tomorrow inshallah now the topic of today is very interesting hopefully because we just decided uh, the last minute mm -hmm. to change the topic uh, mm -hmm. of today's show uh, the previous topic that we had planned for yeah. today google google versus, versus scholars scholars yes and we changed it to something maybe more uh, practical which is being cool versus being a real and productive student I have no idea what it means. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ahmed, tell us, um, you being um, in the academic field, uh, in, in a, a, teach, a teacher in a college, a lecturer in a college, um, why is this important? Why, did, why are we talking about this? Why did we change the topic? Well, uh, first of all, uh, we thought maybe we need to have a very practical topic. Um, people can relate. And, um, you know, especially that most of the people are listening to us are youth and they can easily relate to this topic. And there are a lot of things that we need to discuss and emphasize, and people have to be aware so they can handle them perfectly or properly so that we avoid a lot of issues, a lot of consequences, um, and we need to take a lot of actions to uh, reduce the, the damage that uh, we might get if we don't uh, take any actions. Okay. Now, um, to start off with the first part of the equation, which is being cool, what is the definition of being uh, cool? Well, a lot of people think that the concept of cool is a new concept. In fact, it's, it's not. Yeah. It's a very, very old you know, concept and started at the early, uh, early 20s, actually, in, in the last you know, century, in 1920s uh, almost. And it started with, with the, um, the culture of jazz, mm -hmm. okay? And um, people used to dress in a certain way, dance in a certain way, act in a certain way, um, speak in a certain way. Um, and these features, you know, um, if they're used by certain people, then are, they are defined as what? Cool people. Mm. And, um, and, and especially, you know, and then definitely the concept has developed and started to accommodate more things, and people started to um, to implement or add things which are related to their context. Yes. Um, especially nowadays. Um, so basically, the normal definition or the the very common definition is um, being fashionable, fashionably attractive, or impressive. Mm. That's you know the goal actually of being cool. Um, also, in, now when you talk about it nowadays, you talk always about the idea of social acceptance. You know, a lot of people feel they are not accepted. So it is a way to express that, you know, please accept me. Yes. Okay, by doing things which are somehow perceived unacceptable or uh, out of the norms. Mm. Okay, so we, um, m most of the people say, why are people acting in this way? Why they are behaving in this way? Okay, so it's the sign of uh, of getting that acceptance from the society, especially that people sometimes they are facing a lot of struggle, problems, issues. Okay, from people around them, and so this is a way to express that kind of need. Please accept me. 
I'm part of this, okay? So they tend to, to act in a certain way, talk in a certain way, dress in a certain way in order to gain that kind of social acceptance. So to understand this better, Ahmed, are there any symptoms or forms of being uh, cool yeah, in our modern day? Yes, we will focus more, uh, mainly on the, 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 the um, let's say, if you want to call them symptoms or forms or features of people who are sitting in colleges and schools, okay? Um, definitely, you know, there are a lot of um, ways to, to identify these people called, you know, cool. First mm. of all, are you cool? I don't think so. <laughs> With all the descriptions that you have given, I don't think so. Okay. I, I, need, a, I need a makeover. <laughs> okay. So anyway, because cool also can be perceived as a good concept, but we're trying to talk about the other um, aspect of cool, which is the negative one, which is the, monely, the, the more commonly uh, spreading uh, meaning that uh, we're trying to say. So but, but uh, ma- maybe you can tell us both. You can tell us both. Maybe yeah. quickly tell us the good part of yeah, it. Yeah, uh, the good part is, you know, when you're cool, you, you're not quick-tempered. Mm. You know, like if somebody is trying to humiliate you or intimidate you or trying to put you into a lot of trouble and so on, you act cool, which means you just ignore. Yeah. Okay, this is, a, this is also another meaning for it. And of course, there is also another meaning for cool, which is a person who is not active. You know, like you're just cold. You know, sometimes, you know, they say this is a, a cool person, which means somebody who's not acting actively. Mm. But this is not a very common uh, use of, of the word cool. So back to, to your question about, you know, features or, you know, symptoms of, of people who are cool. I mean, I've been in the field uh, of teaching for quite a long time, and I've seen a lot of, you know, um, <laughs> symptoms <laughs> symptoms, and, and uh, ways where people express, you know, this coolness, okay? <laughs> um, the way they dress, for example. But, okay. but I hope it wasn't uh, contagious to you. I mean, yeah, for somebody coming from the countryside, yeah. <laughs> okay? I mean, you know, I'm coming from a Bedouin, you know, uh, society. And um, so when I came to the college... Before the, you continue, do you have camels? Uh, unfortunately, I don't. <laughs> you, how can you call yourself a Bedouin man without well, camels? Well, I, li- I live in a Bedouin you're, area. You're a disgrace for, to the Bedouins, man. <laughs> well, uh, I'm not rich. You know, <laughs> so you have to be rich, you know, a rich Bedouin in order to um, to have one camel. Okay. Um, it, so, you know, the way people dress mm-hmm. is, is one thing that will show your coolness. Okay. For example, if we talk about the context here, the local context... I mean, there's nothing wrong in, in dressing, you know, in a Western style. Yeah. But you should not um, go to the other extreme. Which is? Which is, you know, sometimes you dress and you don't dress. <laughs> okay. That's I mean, Chinese, man. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Well, you're wearing a dress, but it's not a dress. It's not worn properly. Okay. It doesn't uh, serve the purpose, actually, of, of, uh, of wearing Okay. For example, you know, like uh, they, they use this slang in Arabic, you know, for some kinds of jeans called, you know, tayyihni, for example. <laughs> okay. Um, Bantalon tayyihni. Yes, which is like this kind of loose kind of jeans, okay, mm-hmm. where people tend to wear jeans, okay, and they show some of their parts. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if you go around them and they be- keep, be- you know. Below what, the waistline. Exactly. I mean, why do you need to do that? Okay. Except that you want to tell people, look at me, you know. I'm cool. I can do whatever I want. Yes. Okay, because maybe before that, they didn't have a chance to to express themselves the way they want. Mm-hmm. Maybe because there is a lot of pressure from the society, especially from parents. So when they get out of that context, they tend to change. And I've, inst- I've seen a lot of people coming from those small country countryside places. Mm-hmm. First day... They were, you know, traditionally, Dasha, you know, sometimes a turban and so on. And then gradually, they just feel that they're left out. You know, nobody is recognizing them because there are a lot of people who are from, let's say, from other regions where it's okay to wear in a Western style. Yeah. So they dramatically change from just being traditional because they were to be coined to be uh, reactionary or old fashioned and so on. So they try to catch up, you know, with with the with the trend and the fashion and they go to the extreme yes and they become cool 
Yeah. And then when you talk to them, you said, come on, you know, I want to be cool. I want to be uh, a person who is uh, catching up with the modern trends and so on. So basically they're trying to blend in with the, with the, with the exactly, group. Exactly, exactly. Okay. So this is, you know, one thing. Uh, you know, let's talk also. No, we don't want also to focus on the, the guys, but also the girls, for example. Before you continue with the, before you continue with the girls, even I've seen uh, lately these, uh, for the guys, mm. a type of trousers that are very uh, tight. Tight, yes. This is also another form of... of, of uh, they, they're a little bit loose on, yeah. on the thighs, I think, yeah, and yeah. then they're tight from downwards. Exactly. Yeah. They look very strange, very... Uh, yeah, very, so, very girlish. Yeah, uh, and it actually it's just a matter of imitating. You know, they don't know, but they just see people, you know, wearing them. So they want to blend in, as you said. They want to be um, perceived as cool, um, perceived as you know people who are not out of date. Okay, and um, you just they 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 follow, they imitate. Yeah, but, but Ahmed, maybe me and you were old and we don't understand in this fashion maybe there's something good about it maybe it's uh, how the rest of the world are dressing up now no i mean there's nothing wrong in in adopting you know from different cultures mm. i'm not we never said that you know the western style is absolutely wrong mm. we never uh we never said that and we never meant that all we're trying to say that there are some extreme styles that started to invade okay all the cultures including our culture, yes. which is very weird, actually, for a very conservative, you know, culture uh, where values and traditions are very valued, okay? Uh, so it's becoming too much, to be honest. And sometimes, you know, the way we dress here in this part of the world uh, reflects too much in a way that sometimes you feel that we dress, okay, extremely, okay, or in an extremist way that, you know, uh, people who are coming from that culture of a dress will not wear. Hmm. That's that's very dangerous. Yes. Okay. So uh, we we normally maybe I think this is uh, more uh, with Arabs. We we like to overdo it. Yes. Everything we do, everything we imitate, we we, we go an extra step and uh, overdo it. Exactly. And then back to the idea of you know dress when it comes to girls. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the same thing. I've seen a lot of girls, okay. Before you, co before you continue, Ahmed. Yeah, we have a call? Uh, no, we don't have a call. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not responsible if you're shot today. Eh? Uh, I, no, I'm, 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 ju I'm just moderating this. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, we just, we're trying to address an issue yeah, and, and a challenge that uh, the, the society is facing. I mean, we are not here to degrade anybody. We're not saying to, but you know, to make people reflect yeah. on the way they dress, the way they talk. And it's up to them. You know, this program is called The Choice. And it's up to people to decide whether they want to go for this path or the other one. I so think, we, uh, we are not forcing anybody to follow. I think in Oman, path. we have a very sensible level of uh, freedom. Correct. And uh, throughout the years, uh, the custom or the norm or the law in Oman has left it to the people to decide whatever they want to mm. wear and whatever they want uh, uh, to look like. But then, and then the community also has a say in this Correct. when it comes to traditions and values. And uh, even though the government doesn't uh, directly say that this is something that is not acceptable in this, but the community plays that role. Mm -hmm. So I think the families, the parents, the cousins, the tribe, the mosque, mm. all these things will play a, a big role in influencing uh, the trend, uh, especially for the young people. Correct. Correct. And now back to the idea of address. Now, talking about the context, you know, I mean, students coming to college or to a school or to an institution where they want to seek knowledge. Let, let us stick to uh, let us stick to uh, college because uh, school students they wear uniform. Yes, exactly. Okay. Uh, although the uniforms nowadays are also manipulated, and you know, there are so many ways of uh, you know wearing uniforms nowadays. That's another subject by itself. But anyway, maybe it's very common in colleges, mm. okay? Because as you said, you know, there's this scope of freedom for people to wear whatever they want, yeah. okay? Which is which is understandable. But, you know, like you're talking about a context, which is uh, college, uh, supposed to be a formal institution. Um, as a result of that, 
people have to show some level of respect to that institution by wearing you know an acceptable uh, dress mm. because when you come here first of all you honor the knowledge that you are coming here to seek okay and by by honoring that you need to first of all be uh, dressed in a certain way so to show that you know I really respect the place I'm going to yes this is not a fashion you know like a room where you just you know go and show your your clothes and so on you have a very clear subject I mean a clear goal or objective which is what seeking knowledge okay you're not here to impress people uh, you're not here to to show people that you look at my dress or look at the way I you know I look and so on no you're there to seek knowledge and I think in my opinion that the basic okay need for that is to dress properly to show that you really respect the institution that you're going to I would like to defend the young people uh, out there Ahmed mm-hmm. I, I have to be neutral in this yeah. Ahmed I think uh, it's not fair to blame them because the parents have not uh, listed out the rules correct yeah, on how they should wear and the institutions that they are going to take to seek that knowledge have also not stated clear direct instructions about the dress code and because of that then people assume that we are free to do whatever we want and because no one says anything about it it becomes a normal thing and they continue even sometimes you you find most of these students that we're talking about they might be a stu- a students and they're progressing very well and they're seeking knowledge mm. they're very serious yeah. but it's just because part of being young part of being part of this uh, generation mm-hmm. uh, that's how they are so but, i think uh, both sides um, i think we have to be fair also that okay the young people they have to be sensible by themselves mm-hmm. to pick and choose what is you know acceptable yeah. and uh, what is extreme but also these institutions and their parents because when they leave their homes they leaving their homes and their parents can see what they're wearing yeah sometimes they do and sometimes they don't know yeah. i know i know like some students actually hmm. that they would leave the home or their houses with a dishdasher mm-hmm. and before they they arrive at the college they will get dressed up hmm. okay this is very true So and sometimes the parents don't know about that one. And now the idea of having rules. I agree that you know sometimes we have to, to I, have I only have one comment about what you have said. Mm-hmm. Ahmed I went to university abroad. Mm-hmm. And I went there as an adult okay. after the age of 20. Mm-hmm. It was me and my brother. And I remember my dad used to come surprise visits. Okay. He would just pop up in the in the college. Mm-hmm. So parents play a big role you have to monitor your children you can't you can't be paying only the fees and then you neglect everything else you don't ask where your, your mm. kids are going you don't see how they dress up who are their friends mm. yeah and then you expect them to be perfect so if the parents they don't go and find out you know just once in a blue moon just go for a for a for a for sudden a visit, visit yeah, yeah. and Very find true. out Yeah. Talk to the parents. Mm-hmm. You being in the college, uh, Ahmed. Yes. How many parents do they come and visit you and ask about their children? Well, in 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 in, in very out, rare. out of out give me a percentage. How many? I would say maybe less than 10%. Less than 10%? Yes. Of would. parents go to colleges and ask about their Yeah, in they, your college, they, in your they college. just came the first days when they want their registration to be enrolled mm-hmm. in the college. and uh, there will be some parents who would eventually come and you know check on the students uh, or their kids performance um whether they are attending classes regularly and not you know but it is a very small uh, neglectable percentage if you look at the overall um, so they so there is no supervision whatsoever no but you know also some people might argue hatem with this point that you know you said look he's maturing now you know he's he's growing now so he has to take you know full responsibility if Ahmed, we look at it you know Ahmed, from that perspective if if I'll, i'll give you my example again okay okay i was an adult and i was an employee okay when i went for my studies my dad took this responsibility to check on us because he is the sponsor he's the one who's paying mm-hmm. and this is like an investment yeah 
I don't care how old my son is. If he's 40, he's 50. Yeah, if I'm paying the money mm-hmm. and I'm investing and he is my son and he's still under my wing, he's not independent. Yeah. yeah then he has to, to live by my rules. Mm. So I don't think this is justifiable. Uh, by, no, I'm by, just by saying that, you saying, know, like, I mean, this is the, you know, like, uh, this is the new concept of, you know, maturity nowadays, is that when when a, when a kid or, or, or um, a child, you know, goes to college or, or to university, he has to be given more freedom to be responsible, to be accountable for his uh, or her actions. So why we need to really... Um, take that freedom from them. I'm just saying the the other side of the argument. I know yeah. that, you know, first of all, in order to get to that level, you need to train your kid from the beginning, okay, about the responsibility concept. And then the idea of monitoring, you know, the kids and so on should be done, you know, at That's early right. stages. Mm. I mean, you cannot do this, you know, at later stages, okay? If you keep the, the, the child do whatever he wants, you know, at the beginning, and you don't watch, you know, what he or she is doing, then definitely, you know, there will be a lot of consequences. You cannot fix, you know, a lot of things, you know, at later stages. This is, you know, like a fact. I mean, some people are really lucky to have, you know, kids who are really big or mature, and then they change, you know, to become, you know, very good um, citizens and very good people. But this is not always the case. So if you want to have a more effective, okay, bringing up process, then definitely you have to um, start this at very, very, very early stage. The other thing that I wanted to mention, Ahmed, is that, for example, if I am uh, an owner of an, a, a, an academic institution, institution yeah. yes, people will graduate from my institution, yes. will be carrying my name, correct? Yes, and they'll become professionals. Mm-hmm. It is out of my interest to make sure that I, I, I get the, the, the best quality of people mm-hmm. out there in the market. Yes. So people would, you know, compete to get my students yes. because my students are very well advanced in their uh, studies. They are A students. They have good morals. They are professionals. They look uh, smart. Yeah. You know, all these things, they are credit to me. It's not about only minting money. It's not yeah. about only uh, how much fees do I, do I get. Mm. It's about the reputation of this college. Definitely. But still, you know, Hatim, with all the regulations that, you know, a lot of institutions have and so on, students will always find a way to... Come to, on, Ahmed. Let us be honest. Yeah. Are there regulations in, 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 in colleges and universities There today? are some regulations. Maybe they are not very, very strict you know, when it comes, they are very, the problem with the rules, you know, in a lot of colleges. Um, it's, that, it's like saying that uh, uh, if you cross the, the red light, then you go to jail and then nobody ever goes to jail. Mm-hmm. That's that's what, you, that's what you're saying. Yeah. So uh, the rules are there, but they are not applicable. So uh, yeah, pe- they are not, will they, they are not implemented in, in a lot of cases. And I've, I've seen that. But still, you know, look, I mean, I believe in self-discipline you know Mm. that if the parents from the beginning you know uh, have done their job okay then we will not have a lot of these issues that's right um and you know we get comments for example sometimes you know i know that we we take a lot of actions we get comments from students saying you know what i'm paying here okay so you just get your money and educate me anything personal don't talk to me about. It. Of course, we take in actions. You know, so, you know, we we sometimes even ask them, you know, um, to leave the college and so on. But I'm just telling you the how attitude. much you know, um, r- how much rudeness you know the students can even give or t- t- provide. You know, when it comes to implementing the rules. Okay, I mean, they said, okay, I will go to another college uh, and so on. So we you have a break. We have a minute uh, to go ahead. Okay, so that's, that's, you know, one thing that um, we are suffering, you know, as institutions. But what I'm saying is that the idea of dress, which is the first point, uh, I think, you know, maybe we, we'll have to stop and then come back. Yes, you know? we'll, we'll... Because, uh, you know, the other concept is very important. I, so. think, I think I succeeded uh, in uh, deviating you from t- uh, speaking about uh, the ladies' yeah. dress code. <laughs> and you forgot then, about Are it. you paid about, uh, but, for uh, that? <laughs> no, but inshallah, we'll get to it after the break, inshallah. Okay, thank you. Radio. 
Salt of Oman, 90.4 FM, just brought you The Choice, a program this Ramadan that gives you the opportunity to choose which path you're going to take that will lead us to an everlasting happiness. The Choice, every week from 2 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. here on the Nation Station. Assalamu alaikum dear listeners, welcome back to your show The Choice with me Hatim al Salam and my buddy Ahmed al Mutani. And we'd like to remind you that this is a live show and it's going to be repeated in the evening at 7 p.m. and uploaded on the SoundCloud tomorrow inshallah. You can join us with your comments and suggestions on our number 246029... <laughs> Two four six zero. I'm used to the old number. Yeah. Two four six zero two six nine eight. Two four six zero two six nine eight. Okay. And the other one? The other one, I, I think it doesn't work. So. Okay. All right, Ahmed. Where were we? You were, you yeah. were about to say something about the women, women clothing. Yeah. So we talked a little bit about you know the the way that uh, some male students you know would dress in order to show this concept of coolness okay mm. also you know i've noticed also with uh, some female students that they tend also to to dress in a certain way to express you know the idea of social acceptance okay, okay. especially that there is this kind of myth that been propagated about you know um muslim ladies that they've been oppressed and um you know uh, there is no freedom and so on so you need to dress whatever you want and so on Okay. So I, I usually call it a dress and no dress. You know. Again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, the whole idea of wearing a dress, especially for a woman, is to show the concept of modesty. Correct. Mm. Yes. So if if somebody wears a dress uh, uh, and that dress does not achieve the ultimate goal for this dress, then it's not called a dress. What is it called? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> because, you know, you need to dress up, you know, you need to show that, you know, you, you covered and so on. And I have noticed also uh, through my very little experience, you know, in the, in the field of education, is that uh, also this transformation process that, first of all, you come well-dressed, okay, uh, and uh, very conservative, yes, and then gradually, you know, you started to loosen up yeah. and and you you start, you know, join the crowd and you start, you know, wearing things because you want to look cool, okay. And this is very common. I mean, we don't want to go into a lot of details, but um, it's unfortunately happening, and uh, we cannot deny this, you know, we cannot um, say this is not happening. And w the whole idea of this show is to address these issues so that we can come up with some suggestions and solutions to to uh, to reduce the damage you okay. know that we are, we might have okay ahmed uh, the title of the show is uh, the choice uh, be, no no uh, being cool or being a, a real student uh, productive productive yeah so if you're wearing uh, these type of clothes so does that mean you're not a real student you're not productive you know, there is a study actually conducted in, in, in the University of Virginia. Mm -hmm. And they said people who, um, who started acting cool mm -hmm. by dressing in a very weird way, trying to attract you know, attention and so on, gradually, when they grow up, okay, they always have a problem. What sort of problem? They don't either, they have academically um, not achieving what they want to achieve. Mm. Uh, they become more hostile. Okay, they become, you know, more aggressive. Okay, and so they, because, you know, like, first of all, at that stage, when they were young, they were trying to prove to the people that they are the, the coolest people in, in the crowd. Yes. And then people started to mature, saying that these kind of actions are not a sign of maturity. Especially when they graduate. Exactly. From so mm -hmm. they are left out. Okay, and as a result, you know, they start to have this inner fight, uh, whether, you know, are we, were, we, were we doing, you know, the right thing and so on? They started to what? To uh, have this clash inside them. As a result, they become, you know, very aggressive, very hostile, and they don't continue to be, you know, um, a good, uh, good people. 
Hmm. And this is, you know, like a, a study conducted in the U.S. actually, as I said, you know, in the University of, of uh, Virginia. And um, yeah, also they said in this study that as the years went on, however, these, uh, you know, young people, they started to, um, to lose this, you know, concept of, you know, becoming popular and cool. So they started to become, you know, very aggressive. Okay, so that's, you know, one thing. So if, you, if they start, you know, acting, you know, cool, as they said at the beginning, gradually they become, you know, very, very aggressively negative, And that's not a good sign. But academically, are, then, are, uh, are they, you know, lacking behind? Yes, when it comes to according to academics? this study, yes. Uh, behavior wise and also in terms of a school, they said they tend not to continue. Okay, even high school sometimes. Hmm. And even if they get to college level, they don't perform academically well. So that's you know, according to the study. So do you it, think do you think that uh, maybe sometimes you know this fashion and being cool is occupying their mind and is uh, deviating them away from their main focus, which is academia? Exactly. And, uh, the other students who are not focus, f- focusing much on. The cool side, yeah. They're focusing on their studies and they progress and they become better. They produce more, and you know? uh, once the, the the first group uh, realize that it's too late. Yes, our friends have graduated. Mm-hmm. They've scored high marks. They have good jobs, and we are left uh, behind. behind. Yes, this is very true. This is actually one one justification for the situation. So yes, I mean there is an issue. They 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 lack. Uh, Um, you know, like academic success and they don't achieve and they don't accomplish. And uh, as a result, you know, they, they want to take revenge from the society. So they act in a very aggressive way, as we said. So that's, you know, one thing that uh, we need. Maybe another another way um, to to talk about is the idea of haircut, you know. Like, like mine? No. <laughs> <laughs> Your haircut about, is, is a, a cool one in a good sense, you know. Okay. <laughs> But they are like, for example, you know, since um, the, the haircut is so connected nowadays with with uh, celebrities, for example. Yes. Uh, sports, um, name it, um, acting, dancing, you know, all the, the areas of, of celebrities and so on. Sometimes, you know, these kind of haircuts are very weird in, in a way that... Uh, But, they, but, but that maybe, Ahmed, they're weird to us, but they're normal to the young people. Like, why would you, for example, put uh, a bad word, okay, at the back of your head? <laughs> I've not seen that. <laughs> okay, um, I've seen it. Okay, yeah. I mean, you put, you know, or you put, you know, like, for example, a sign which shows something, you know, really bad, for example. Marked on your head? Yes. And, you know, I don't know these people in the barber shop, you know, like how much time they spend. <laughs> Okay, in order to grave, you know, that kind of sign or symbol or words, you know, on, on as long the, as they get paid, man, then they, they'll do the job. Yes, but you know, look how much effort and time, you know, these young people are spending in order to engrave their heads. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's very funny, you know. I mean, and sad at the same time. But I want to ask you, what what is the response of other students who are not doing this? Mm-hmm. To this student, and what is the response of the uh, faculty when they see something like this? You know, like uh, the 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 danger is when these people are very influential. Mm. You know, they because they become very bossy, and you know, they try to show that they 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 have a a control over the situation. Then they influence, you know, people who are weak, and that's another another problem. Okay, but you know, sometimes, you know, there are students who are very strong, they have, you know, their own principles, values, and so on. So they look at them and say, what's wrong with these people? Okay, so they, they said, you know, and they started to sort of, you know, um, look down at them, which is also another issue. This is not the right approach, actually. We need to care about people around us. Okay, I mean, this is why we, we are a community here. Okay, and of course, you know, some people say we don't want to, you know, interfere with the freedom and so on. But we are also advised in terms of our religion to to provide a piece of advice to our, you know, friends and, and, uh, brothers, and uh, sisters brothers and sisters and, and so on. This is a very, you know, like a uh, very unique and important concept, you know, in our religion. I'm very much interested to know the uh, the reaction of the faculty. 
Okay, you know, some some faculty, you know, they, they are divided into two. And, you know, mm. some people who are, will be very angry witnessing people uh, dressing or looking this way and they would try to go and talk to some of the students say, why are you doing this? Why are you not, you know, doing this and so on? And of course, you know, they will do this privately. They will not just go and, you know, try to scream at students in front of other people and so on. So they will talk to them and say, you know, why don't you consider this? Why don't you do this? And so on. There is also another group of teachers who would just act, you know, idle. They will not just say, we don't care. You know, this is none of our business. And, you know, let them do whatever they want. We're here to teach and leave. Okay. And I've, unfortunately, I've seen a lot of yeah, but what, hap what happened to the role of uh, teachers where they were role models, they were not only teaching you about academia, they were also instilling good morals into students. I remember when we went to school, the teachers were not only teaching us uh, what we need to study, mm -hmm. but also they were like parents to us. They were guiding us, they mm -hmm. were telling us when we do something wrong, yeah. even if it's not their business. Yeah, but you know, like uh, the 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 concept of teaching nowadays has been somehow uh, transformed, or let's say misunderstood by a lot of educators. Mm. As you said, it's all about conveying the content, and that's it. Yeah, it's nothing to do with you know um, uh, fixing you know some of the behaviors, trying to um, influence you know the the kids or the students you know in a positive way. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't see the value and the essence of, of teaching and education. It's not about only conveying content. Especially nowadays, you can get any piece of information from anywhere. So you don't need to have only conveying you know, content process. But also you need to focus more on how to really produce good citizens, okay? people who can produce to this country people who can behave in a certain way, people who can be ambassadors for this country and for this religion. So unfortunately, this attitude from some teachers is causing a lot of issues with us. Hold your, heart, uh, hold your horse. <laughs> hold your thought, uh, Ahmed. I yeah. think I'm hungry today. Okay. We, have, uh, we have a call. Assalamu alaikum. How are you, brother? I'm fine. What about you? I'm fine. Alhamdulillah. It's nice to hear your voice. Alhamdulillah. How is Ramadan with you? Ramadan is good. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. We're, we're hanging in. Yeah, half of it you know, already passed. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, inshallah. Yeah. yeah. So what do you think of the show? Do you have anything to say about uh, what we have just spoken about? I think you are talking about the student who... Or what? I don't know. Uh, you don't know? That topic. You don't know the topic? Yeah. Subhanallah. Okay, uh, let me tell you this. Okay, just uh, hang up and continue yeah. listening to the show. And then maybe later on you can call. How about that? Okay. okay? All right. Thank you, man. Thank you. Okay. So, you know, um, let's move to the, the other concept, which is... Um, Behavior. Behaviors. Yeah. And, and, and then when it comes to behaviors, so we were talking about, you know, the out look or the external look at the beginning now we're going to talk about behaviors one uh one thing that i've noticed with cool students mm -hmm. is the idea of violating the rules in general okay and uh, they they do it in in so many you know ways you know they are experts actually in doing that you know they just wanted to show the people look accept me you know look what i'm doing here and so on so one thing that they tend to do is mass classes I mean, if you want to miss a class, why you join the college in the first place? No, maybe uh, my parents are forcing me to get uh, into that's, the college. That's yeah? another thing. You know, maybe they, they need to talk and to And maybe I know everything. I don't need to go for class. No. As you said, everything is on the net. Yeah, but this is why we said the role of a teacher yes. inside the classroom. I mean, you can still get a piece of information from anywhere, as we said. But a teacher, a very good teacher, will be able to make sure that all the values, all the good um, morals and so on are, are in a place, you know, when it comes to teaching. So and not only that, you know, when, 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 you come to, when you come to the class, you don't only learn content, you learn skills. And these skills cannot be learned only from, you know, from an internet, you know, website or whatever. No, 
you will have to have a discussion, you will have to have an exercise, you will have to have a, a training session in order to get to a certain level. And when you ask a lot of employers nowadays, okay, they don't care a lot about content, your major. Yes. All what they care about is things related to the way you think, the way you communicate your ideas, whether you can adapt to different situations or not. That's the, these are the things that people are looking for when it comes to employing people. So you cannot get them, right. you know, yeah. you, you cannot get them, you know, only from... from Actually, many, many of the HR professionals nowadays, mm -hmm. when they recruit a person, they are not really concerned of how qualified that person is. Yes. Uh, they say that uh, if someone is not really qualified, mm -hmm. then we can work on that. Correct. We can get him to be qualified. You should have the right attitude. But if someone has a bad attitude, then it's it's a problem. Yes. And messing in class even, is even, a sign even of though bad if attitude. it's overqualified. Yes. I remember one of the uh, uh, previously in, in in past years, a student came for an interview in our company. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were there was a panel, and he was late for the interview. Mm -hmm. So he came in. He did not apologize for being late. Yeah. They were waiting for him about maybe fifteen minutes. Mm. So and then he came in. He just sat. He did not apologize. So they just acted cool and continued. Yeah. So they started asking him questions, and suddenly his phone rang. Wow. And then he picked up the phone. And he he started, picked up the phone. Yeah, he picked up the phone. Wow. And he started, uh, you know, talking on the phone. And they said, "Let let us see where this uh, this move is going to continue." <laughs> wow. And they left him and mm. until he finished. And then uh, he said, "You know what? I'm actually really busy. So if you can just tell me what's the package like, and then I'll just uh, go go <laughs> go on and and leave there." Mm. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then and uh, the HR uh, professional guy he said, "Don't worry, uh, my son." It seems like you're a very busy man and we don't want to take more of your time. Mm -hmm. You can just uh, leave, yeah. But wow. he was highly qualified. Wow. He had he had all the things that are required for that job, yeah. but he only lacked the attitude and they yeah. did not recruit him. And and you know, I mean, if if you allow me, you know, I want to say something about the idea of qualifications. I mean, if our qualifications are not pushing us to become very good citizens, then you know we don't deserve these qualifications. They become only pieces of papers that we just have. There should be a very strong correlation between our qualifications and the way we behave, the way we act, the way we deal with people. And I, I don't, I don't see that this person, with all respect to that person, maybe, qualified. Maybe one day we should have a, a dedicated show about that piece of paper, <laughs> the copy paste. Yeah, yeah, not and today. And unfortunately, you know, today. like I mean, we, 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 we should not be so concerned about how many, how many certificates, how many credentials you have, but you know how much you can give, you know, to that institution or to the society in general. So what's what's the norm of uh, missing classes? Uh, what's uh, acceptable for students uh, in terms of number of times uh, they can miss classes or reasons for, for missing the class? And what is the role of the uh, institution towards correcting this, this act? You know, like uh, we, we, we as an institution, and I'm sure that, you know, all other institutions are doing the same or maybe sharing the same concept. Look, we are trying to emphasize the idea of attending classes regularly because we want to teach them commitment. Hmm. Okay? If they are committed by coming to the class every time, on time, they have gained one important skill that they will need when they graduate. Yeah. And it will lead them to having a very good job. Because you might uh, get away yes. with uh, skipping classes Correct. in the college, mm -hmm. but when you're employed, you man, cannot. they're going to chop off your salary. Exactly. So there's no chance for you to <laughs> and And this is it. why, you know, every institution has to make sure that students are really attending classes. I don't believe in this concept that, you know, people are mature and they can decide on their future and so on. If they are mature enough, they would never think of missing any classes. So we need to contribute in conveying the message, making sure that they understand why they need to come to classes. And also we need also not to also blame only the students, but also we need to reflect on the teaching style that the teachers have. Because sometimes maybe the teachers are the main reason for people may, you know, missing classes. Yeah. But this is another issue. But what I'm saying is that, you know, 
why a lot of people think that they're cool because they want to show that you know we can, yes i'm i'm powerful okay i can do whatever i want and i can you know go uh, without it you know without being you know punished and so on and they want a lot of people to see that you say you're attending classes <laughs> and then you say what you committed person as if it is something you know bad you know so they try to put you know that kind of good behavior to seem to be what a very bad behavior the other thing that we would like to tell our students is the college has dedicated staff correct yeah maybe some of them are from uh, abroad uh, they have dedicated the the classrooms they have dedicated electricity and and all the resources for you to learn yes. and when you don't show up then it's a waste of resource correct and uh, maybe that opportunity uh, someone else who really deserves it who he could have got that opportunity but you got it and you're not serious enough especially that the government has given a lot of scholarships you know to a yeah. lot of uh, students here in the in, in Oman and if people are not serious about you know their study then you know this opportunity should be given to another student you were talking about the idea of rules and so on we have a lot of rules about you know about you know absenteeism and and you know being um, committed to your classes and so on i think this is something that maybe we should not talk a lot about it because okay. we are drifting uh, from okay, the topic the second thing is respect uh, ahmed to towards to teachers towards elderly towards yes. uh, parents being cool then yeah uh, being cool you know you have to show that you know you're authoritative and uh, you, you speak back you speak back and and um you know you say whatever you want yes um and without even considering you know the age um the the um the the, the culture and so on yeah as a result uh, we 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 are having or we graduating okay students who are disrespectful and uh, and uh, they are very um, easy to be intimidated okay with any comments or piece of advice because they didn't want to listen and yeah. ahmed this also reflects to the workplace Correct. when they join the workplace and there are some incidents where uh, some of the graduates who join uh, the industry and uh, you know how it is uh, at work uh, mm. ahmed sometimes your boss gets uh, in a bad mood and then uh, you you've had it for that yes, day correct. but you're patient because it's it's a, it's you're seeking a living correct and uh, these young people what what happens if the boss is a little bit angry they mm. just say i'm going to sue you yeah yeah <laughs> how dare you raise your voice on me correct you know uh, this this is i mean the 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 the, the virtue of of respect is part of our religion and we have to respect people regardless of their ethnicity or the religion and so on you know and you find a lot of these people say you know they act in in a cool way in order to to show people that oh look at me okay i'm here listen to me okay i'm here it's my way or the highway hmm. and and this is very common i've seen a lot of i've seen some students actually in in my experience where they they just wanted to show that um you know, by disrespecting you know people that uh look I am the boss here you're not the boss and especially those who are funding themselves sometimes mm-hmm. they have this attitude that they say since I'm paying you're in charge of my educating uh, my education you're not in charge of my behaviors uh, and, and uh, this is very dangerous uh, rega- regarding paying um uh, some institutions that are really serious about their their reputation mm-hmm. like the one I went uh, in in Malaysia mm-hmm. the college was very strict and they if your academic uh, grades are going down below the standard of the college mm. they just refund you your money and say please leave you're not welcome wow, here yeah. and if you have any funny funny behavior they just refund you and say please we don't care about how much money how you much pay you us know, yeah? yeah it's not yeah. about your money yeah. it's about the quality of student that this institution wants to produce yeah Ahmed because of the sake the of the, the, the sake of time let us move on to the next uh, point which is organizing parties yeah i mean this is a, also another <laughs> a new concept actually that you know started to invade the country or the culture mm. uh you know there are some people who think that they need to to have this kind of uh, mixing environment okay mm. so they organize a lot of parties they get together and they do almost everything which is unlawful Okay. Okay, and sometimes even gets to drinking and sometimes you know it gets to even fornication. 
Hmm. Okay, which is something very dangerous. And you know, when you talk to people and say, oh, this is not acceptable, I said, you know, we are in the 21st century and you're talking about lawful and unlawful. Okay, this is a freedom. Okay, and then some, some might even say, for example, okay, I want to go to hell. This is none of your business. Okay, so I mean, that, that was very, very scary, you know, because I, I was, I got to know about this, you know, because I, I found... You were invited? No, no, I wasn't <laughs> invited. I, I, I found, you know, like a, an invitation card, mm. okay, in one of the corridors, you know, where students, you know, sort of, you know, left it. Yeah. And it looks like, you know, they wanted to, to get together and so on. And it, it was not, uh, uh, you know, like, it was just a small invitation, you know, join us, you know. And you will have a lot of fun and so on, you know. Guys and girls are invited, you know. And, uh, you know, something like that. Okay, and first of all, the place was, you know, uh, was in uh, in one of the hotels. And also the other thing is that, <laughs> the other thing is that, is that um, the time, hmm. the time was late. I mean, it was not like, for example... Where the party is starting. Yes, yes. Okay. So that was a bit, you know, like uh, unacceptable, to be honest, you know, and shocking to me. Because, uh, I mean, this is the way we are Oman, and we are in Oman. And we have also to understand that we are in a Muslim country. And uh, there are certain rules and values we have to, to maintain and, proceed, and, 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 and preserve. And, and for the institution, it's I think maybe it's... Difficult to control this because it's it's after, outside, uh, yeah. After the, after, the, the after, hours of, yes. the, of the college, yeah. And you know, look, if you you spend, can only advise them, and yeah, we can all just you know talk to them, advise them, and so on. But my 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 idea is that you know, okay, that will uh, definitely affect your academic performance hmm. because you will spend you know the whole time you know like especially at night you know partying and so on. So that means you know you'll miss your classes. You'll miss your assignments. You might miss, you know, your quizzes and tests and so on. Just for the sake of being what cool, because you want people to to accept, accept you. you. Mm. Okay, that's another scary thing. Okay, what about dating? Yeah, that's uh, another scary thing, um, you know, started uh, also to um, dominate the scene, actually, in, in the whole country. I mean, dating is becoming now just a very normal thing, very normal. Okay, and actually it's a sign of civilization. Mm. I mean, if you don't have a girl or a girlfriend or if you don't have a boyfriend, then there, there must be something wrong with you. Okay, uh, that's, you know, how, you know, people and, and, you know, like, and then, you know, like you, you find some students, they will be very proud, you know, because they want to look cool. Okay, so they say, oh, she is my girlfriend. And she is another girlfriend. And then, you know, they started, you know, competing sometimes even <laughs> to win, you know, one of the girl's heart. Okay. And I, I, I have even witnessed a fight over a girl. No, a over guy. a boy. Oh, okay. okay. So that's the other that's way around. Yes. Two girls, okay, fighting <laughs> for one. You know, guy. This guy must be really good looking. Yeah, I'm, I don't know about that, you know. <laughs> but anyway, I, that's not the point. But the point is that, you know, we got to a stage where, you know, like girls are really inviting. I mean, they're fighting, okay, for, for having or winning, you know, somebody's heart. I mean, this is not acceptable. It was a big fight. It was a big fight, you know, and we had to take a lot of actions and so on. But this is very common nowadays. Dating is becoming a very common. And now, you know, you find a lot of, you know, like also students meeting secretly, you know, mm. trying to find a class, okay, or a place where they can, you know, have all these secret meetings, okay, to discuss, you know, the world issues, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, you know, in, in, private, in a private, you know, uh, place. And this is not acceptable. Okay, and then you know when when you and we and we know what happens when a, a guy and a girl uh, yes. is alone. Yes. they become intimate and 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 then you and know, it goes on. Yes, and, and this is this is something that we need to address. And and you know, the thing is that people talk about it and they think it's okay, and and you are civilized if you have you know a girlfriend or you have a boyfriend. I'm I, I'm really keen to know what is the reaction of parents when they get to know these things is it normal do they punish their children do you know well it, it depends it depends you know there will be some parents who will just say okay it's okay what to do 
um, you know, we just have to accept it. There will be parents who will be very angry to know that. And coming back to the idea of, you know, following up with kids, you know, as you said, a lot of parents, unfortunately, do not follow up with what's happening with their kids. Uh, and, um, you know, like I remember once we had a, a parent who was in tears, mm -hmm. you know, what? because he got to know that his daughter was not attending classes. He brings her all every day to college. Okay. So but he she drops was, her in the yes, morning. Yes. Okay. And, um, and, and she doesn't attend the classes. So she comes from this door and leaves her from the other door. Okay, and then one day he wanted to check on her performance. So he went to the class and he found her not there. Okay, and he was he was shocked. Okay, and he called her and he said, where are you? And she said, I'm in a class. <laughs> okay, and you know, and she, you know, he was, he, was, he was in tears. He said, you know, I never expected that from my daughter. Because, you know, this influence of, of you know, cool culture, is is a, is a very dangerous you know thing and if we don't address this at a higher level then we will lose a lot of our students and a lot of young people for no reason except that we don't take actions immediately now let me ask you ahmed uh, what is the level of uh, performance in students in general in colleges in oman are we heading towards the right direction or are we you know <laughs> Well, I Do cannot, we have, uh, I, I cannot I mean, speak on behalf of all the institutions here in Oman, but I'm I'm really worried about you know uh, some of the um, some of the students you know um, future, because uh, the attitude is college is fun time, hmm. and this is a very kind of Western concept you know that um, you know when you college at college you need to party you need to drink you need to date you need to do this you want to try everything yeah. okay and you should not be very very um reactionary out of date um you know you and need to be cool be you need to be the studies. awesome guy yeah. and so on so that's you know the trend okay um which is very scary now you know you know a lot of people even they coin certain places or certain colleges as dating places Subhanallah. You Ahmed, know? we need to remind our listeners mm. that they can call us on the show mm. uh, and tell us what they think. 2460-2698. 2460-2698. Again, 2460-2698. I got okay. it right this time. Very good. So it's a dating place. Yes. And, you know, another thing that um, also as a sign of being cool is the idea of missing ritual Religious rituals mm. like praying, fasting, and so on. And uh, when when you talk to them, you know they'll say, "You know, come on, we are in the twenty first century. You want us to pray? You want us to fast? Okay." And some people will tell you, "I don't want to be hypocritic, you know, because I don't do this, you know, and I'm not convinced or something like that." And this is very dangerous. Very dangerous. We have this. Uh, and everybody was saying, I don't want to be religious. That's not about being religious. It's about, you know, following the instructions of, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes? Yes. And it's nothing to do with me. I mean, you, you're not here to impress me or to impress Hatim or to impress anybody. Yeah. This is something to do with your relationship with your Lord. Okay? And we don't, I don't care about, you know, what people think of me. I want to make sure that my relationship with my creator. God, my creator, is very strong. Because this is, you know, this is the essence. This is the most important thing. This is, you know, where I drive, you know, my my power, my 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 energy from, okay, by having this strong relationship with my Lord. But some people, they say, you know what, I want to pray because I want to look cool. And this is, this is not acceptable. And, now, and I think we need we need to talk about this. Yeah. Now breaking the rules, uh, mm. Ahmed. It's a trend. Yes. That being being cool also brings breaking the rules. Yeah. What sort of rules do they break? Anything. You know, they might you know do vandalism. Okay. They might uh, sometimes you know um, fight. They might sometimes you know like go and play with. Uh, with anything, you know, around the college and so on. And sometimes, you know, they might, you know, damage, you know, uh, some of the facilities. Sometimes, you know, they might 
even break the rules of of uh, exams cheating and so on you know th this is this is also another thing that you know we need to um, okay now the way to the way they speak to each other and uh, yeah to, but to you know also another else. thing that you know maybe we should also talk about is the idea of uh, bullying you know this is also becoming a very very thing a very common thing now you know i'm a thug you know I'm, <laughs> And so I need to to really be you know like a thug. I want to join the crowd of being a thug. So they go and 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 damage things, and they go and fight with people. Sometimes you know like there are certain people like let's say foreigners. Sometimes you know poor, uh, and they they go and attack them. Okay, they just say oh we are Omanis or we are whatever you know, and they're you're not Omanis. So they become like a, a thug, and they wanted to show that you know they are the cool. You know, people. That's that's uh, also another thing. In terms of way of speaking, okay, for the guys, um, I think we talked about this uh, before. But uh, now, the idea of Arabish, for example, mm -hmm. like one word in Arabic and ten in English, or vice versa. Yeah, this is becoming also another tr very trend. Very common. Very common, and people think this is cool. Okay. Uh, and this is, uh, I think, even Dr. No, Wild was talking. Not only spoken, even written. Yeah, and uh, that's that's yeah, yeah. When we send you know text messages nowadays, mm. they they will have to insert you know two or three words in English, okay, or other languages and so on to show that you know they they are well educated or they are cool and so on or they speak English. Yes. And in terms of of uh, even using uh, language, uh, the the idea of uh, swearing is becoming a very part of speech. Yes. I mean sometimes I I go to the cafeteria mm. and I hear swears or swear words that I've never heard in my entire life. Okay, except you know from students. And they wanted just to show that you know they speak very good English according to them. Okay. <laughs> anyway, okay. so, so swearing. Yeah, swearing is becoming you know uh, one thing uh, the 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 idea of you know like uh, speaking in a certain accent is becoming a very popular thing, you know like we talked last time about the idea of you know sounding black. Mm. I mean, there's nothing wrong in sounding black, okay? But you know sometimes you know it's becoming too much, in a way that uh, people will will um, exaggerate sometimes, you know, and the idea of this hip hop culture songs and so on. We need to work really hard in terms of. Um, um, instilling all these um, important values and morals, okay, that are derived from the Islamic teaching uh, from an early stage. Um, because if we don't do that, you know, there's always this small possibility that these um, children, uh, when they grow, uh, difficult to change, you know. So I think what he's I think, absolutely right. Ahmed, is that we have the best product, which yes. is Islam. But we are the worst people to market this product. Exactly. And this is why the reason our children are going astray. Mm -hmm. And if you ask any parents today, how much time do you spend with your children to instill in them these values? Yeah. We hardly sit with them. And in fact, you know, there, there, are, there are a lot of parents who are uh, adopting the concept of coolness, actually. Um, you know, and that, you know, contributes a lot. There, there's nothing wrong with being cool, Ahmed, in a very moderate way. Correct. Yeah, in a very nice way where you don't harm other people. Mm -hmm. You don't uh, humiliate your culture, your values, your religion. There's no nothing wrong with that. Yeah, very, you very true. You can be cool with your kids and, you know, uh, be a very nice person. Mm -hmm. But uh, the moment you become rebellious and you overdo it, yeah. And you harm other people, you harm your career, you harm your studies, and you harm the community. Then it's uh, it's, it's not a, acceptable. It's yeah. not acceptable at yeah. all. So you told us about the slang. You told but you told us about swearing yeah. and uh, Arabish. Yes, and also you know like um, now since we 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 were talking about guys most of the time, also girls actually. You know I don't know sometimes there is this too much softening in the tone. <laughs> what so, do you mean by that? I'm, I don't know. I, I'm not a girl, you know, too. <laughs> but, you know, it's just too much, you know. They're, they're very soft. And so it's not direct speech. No. It's more feminine, very feminine. It's just too. 
too feminine. Yes, it's not uh, very, but it's too. What, and, and so what's the effect of that? The effect is that, you know, when you listen to a woman talking to you like this, differently you start thinking about, you know, uh, bad things sometimes. Yeah. Okay. And and this is also mentioned in our, our Islamic teachings. Yes. That, you know, women should talk in a, in a certain fashion. Assertive and, they, and straightforward. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And they should not, you know, soften their voices. Even, even guys. Yes. Even, even guys. Even okay. Guys. okay. So yeah. that's that's also another thing. But, you know, it's just becoming too much. You know, like uh, the, the, the slangs and the words and so on. I mean, this is too much. Okay. Yeah. Yes, so, Ahmed. yeah, we were talking about this idea of, you know, softening, you know, your accent or your words and so on. And it's becoming, you know, also a fashionable thing. And it's part of being, you know, a cool lady, you know, or a cool girl. Um, you know, like, I think we need to move to the next uh, item, which is... Taking drugs. Yeah, uh, you know, also, the, the, the taking drugs is also another <laughs> another um, symptom, the symptom of, of being cool nowadays. Hmm. Okay, uh, which is really uh, sad. Okay, now... Uh, especially um, when, when we talk about drugs, we're not talking about only, you know, like heavy drugs. But there are other small types of drugs. Like nowadays, you know, we have something called Afdal, for example. Yes. Okay, this is very common. Okay, and if you if you smoke or eat or whatever, <laughs> you take, you know, chew. Afdal, chew or whatever, okay. Uh, uh, Afdal, you know, it's okay, you know, it's fine. Okay, it's it's part of being a man, you know. You show that you're a man. You're a grown person and, and you're an adult and so on. And this is part of, you know, joining the crowd of being a cool person. And um, and the f the very, f you know, funny and sad thing at the same time is to say that girls are smoking or, or chewing, you know, Afdal nowadays. Mm. And uh, that, was, that, was a, <clears throat> that was a very shocking thing for me, to be honest. Um, I, I saw some girls... Uh, chewing gum, uh, I'm not gums, but you know, Afdal. Afdal, you know, and it was a normal thing, you know, I'm, I'm you know, yeah, I'm very liberal, okay, and um, I don't, you know, um, care about, you know, all these traditions, and I have to show the people that I'm not oppressed, you know, by Yeah, but the regardless of tradition, religion, yeah. and family, and everything yeah. else, Afdal is a drug. Yes. And actually, you're damaging your body, yeah. your mind, and everything else in your life. And you might lose uh, everything valuable in your life. So yeah. forget about community, forget about religion, forget about everything. Start off with your health. Yeah, but, but you know, people don't care about health, you know. Uh, I, I mean, not everybody, but a lot of youth sometimes, you know, consider health as not as important, you know, uh, factor when it comes to taking care of themselves. But um, this is this is something really scary, you know. I mean... This concept of uh, being cool is messed up a lot, you know, and misunderstood by a lot of young people. And listen, I just wanted to 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 convey a message here to all the young people. Okay, it's never too late. We are here all to support you. And okay? we we are not perfect, Ahmed. Yes, we are uh, not perfect. We've been through the cycle. Yes. yes. I'm. You've been through this. <laughs> no, <laughs> not, I don't. Not, I don't recall not doing the all this crazy Afdal, thing. Of course, yeah, but yeah. Uh, we, we've been through okay. some of them. Okay. So anyway, but uh, what I'm saying is that, um, you know, look, teachers, okay, staff, um, counselors, okay, are ready to support you. It's never too late. If you think that you need help, go and approach the right person. And, you know, most most of the institutions make this as a confidential thing. Yes. So you don't have to worry about, you know, being uh, your parents being told and so on. As long as you're willing to change, are you willing also to to uh, to to bring a change in, into your life? OK, all these people will definitely support you. Uh, there's a very uh, famous uh, proverb that says absence. Uh, sorry, courage is not the absence of fear. Mm hmm. Courage is moving forward despite your fear. So mm. no matter what fears you have in your life, seek help. Correct. Go to the people, the right people that can help you and support you. And as Ahmed said, it's never too late to get your life back. Correct. And and we have so many examples where people used to go to, uh, astray or doing something crazy and so on. And then, you know, with help and support from society, from parents, from people around them, teachers and so on, 
they 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 changed their life dramatically, and and now they are very good people and productive people, and and that's the ultimate goal actually. Yeah. And I think also the role of friends. Yeah. The role of friends that are with you, if they are really good friends, then they would support you and hold your hand and bring you back to safety. Correct. I remember when we were studying, we had a a colleague who went into drugs and mm. he was sent to prison for quite some time and then he was released and after he was released and then um, um, he was uh, brought uh, to live with uh, a few good uh, brothers mm -hmm. students and they encouraged him and advised him and he and he graduated uh, and uh, started a career and he has a family and mm -hmm. he became normal he got uh, his life back so the role of friends is very important to yeah. choose the right friends that will support you when you go uh, astray. Sure, yeah. And you know, another thing that you know, I think I haven't seen a lot in a lot of institutions is the idea of spreading religious awareness. Okay, they should, a lot of institutions should, um, should um, encourage or organize a lot of um, uh, awareness sessions from time to time. Yes. Religiously speaking, psychologically, name it, you know, in all the areas, okay, where sensitive topics like taking drugs or even being cool or whatever, um, maintaining, you know, your identity and so on are discussed in a thorough way that the, the, these um, students are given the freedom to, to share, to express their opinions. And we need to be very, very open minded to the idea that, you know, that they might have made a mistake, okay? Yes. And we should not punish them for making the mistake, okay? We should, first of all, make sure to provide them with the needed help. And then, if they don't react, then maybe we can take an action, okay? Maybe informing or parents and so on. But first of all, we need to give them the benefits of the doubts, Okay. And and then, you know, we provide them with the needed help and then definitely they might change. They might not change. But we need to really increase the, the number of sessions when it comes to awareness. OK, especially religious awareness. So, Ahmed, why do students uh, want to be cool at the end of the day after hearing all this? Mm -hmm. Why would they want to be cool? But, you know, uh, first of all, uh, they want to attract attention. Mm. You know, I mean, um, they just want to say, I'm here. Listen to me. But there are there are other ways for you to attract atten attention. But this is you know like the, the accelerating in your studies, being an A student would attract a attention to you as well. Yeah, having a strong character, a confident uh, personality, but that being a leader. Yeah, that requires a lot of effort and time. Yeah. you know, and this is very easy. That's you right. just you know violate the rules. You know, don't do whatever you're supposed to do. Very easy, yeah. Yes. But you know, to to be a very good student or very productive students, you have to make a lot of effort. You have to work really hard. You have to respect. You have to show a lot of, uh, um, you know, like um, effort in order to, to get to a certain level. Okay, Ahmed, let us take uh, another short break and then we'll continue after that. In our modern day, values have changed. And many of us became confused with the choices that life has to offer. Join us in this journey. The choices of life that will lead us to an everlasting happiness. Dear listeners, Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome back to the show, uh, The Choice, with me, Hatim Al Salam, and uh, my brother Ahmed Al Matani. And today we're talking about uh, being cool or being a real productive student. Now let us move on to the next uh, equation yeah. uh, of this formula, which is being a real and productive student. What is a real student, Ahmed? Well, you know, a real student or a more productive student is actually the opposite, actually. A person who is so concerned about his study, about, you know, giving back to the community, committing to to the rules of, of, you know, institutions, showing a lot of respect, okay, to, um, to, um, to teachers, to parents, okay, 
um, also trying not to uh, just get get indulged into whatever you know is available not to become a follower exactly so is he is actually a leader of his own life yes. and uh, actually we lack a lot of uh, these kind of, of students you know in our community because a lot of our students are led actually by by people okay and uh, and this is not a good thing i kept saying to my students you need to be a leader of your own life and we need to have a lot of good effective leaders in our community and you cannot have uh, this kind of qualities unless you are a very good real student and real student also uh, make their parents proud yes because most of these parents are sponsoring their children their life saving goes into the fees of mm. these college and then at the end of the day the your ch- the, 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 the 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 child doesn't take uh, the studies yeah. uh, mm. seriously, seriously and doesn't take this the studies seriously and uh, they they ruin everything now uh, ahmed what are some of the uh, benefits of being a real student well uh, you know like when you're a good student actually as we said you become a productive citizen citizen uh, a person who values knowledge a person who will always you know put you know morals in the front of his or her eyes okay when it comes to dealing with people because well, knowledge and moral go hand in hand exactly because you know in our teachings actually it is very clear okay that when you are um you know knowledgeable okay uh and then you know your morals you know will arise automatically okay yes. because they are very connected and they are also related to each other um another thing is that you know when you are a real student um there is also this possibility of having s- scholars scientists because if you come to classes if you attend the classes if you respect rules you will dedicate more time and this will develop your intellectual uh, intellectuality your critical thinking and definitely you might join the crowd of scientists mm. and you know i mean unfortunately you know in in the arab world in general we don't have a lot of scientists and a lot of scholars okay because of this attitude that you know we don't put a lot of effort we we don't commit ourselves to the rules and so on yes. so if we have if we have more committed and more real students will definitely end up having what um you know are there scientists and scholars are there any disadvantages of being a real student ahmed you know um because so, you know being a good student or real student yes. okay you'll have to pay the price of of dealing with the comments that you might get from mm-hmm. people around you so because you become the odd okay uh, you're not the 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 um, the common type Yes. Okay, so people might, you know, attack you and so on. And if you don't have a very strong personality, what's going to happen to you? You might, you know, sort of, you know, consider leaving that and join, you know, the other crowd. Yes. And this is the trick actually used by a lot of people who are cool. They want to increase the number of people. So people started to accept their actions and the, it becomes, you know, like a, a norm. Thing. and it becomes you know a trendy thing and becomes you know okay to do this and this is the trick so uh, i'm 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 here to also to advise all the students you know around oman and around the world to be careful from these kind of what influence from these people okay make sure that you stand up for your rights and for your uh, values and for your morals okay because there will be a lot of people who are trying to be cool and we should not ignore the influence of social media and media in general in uh in propagating for such you know bad uh behaviors and uh, uh wrong ideas okay to to a lot of people so we need to really be equipped okay in order to to um to face the challenges that you know we might face you know as as uh, real students in the society Ahmed Ahmed finally we want some tips on how to stop being cool Okay first of all as we said develop the um, the 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 leadership qualities mm. within you we need first of all as we said you need to be most of the people who are cool actually are what followers yes okay they don't know okay that uh, what is right and what is wrong and this will lead to the idea of what getting educated and knowledgeable about everything i always tell my students okay look 
you should not only be knowledgeable about your area of study, but you need to read about everything. You need to read about religion because religion comes first. Okay, this concept that religious knowledge is only for religious people should be eliminated and eradicated from our schools. As teachers, we need to talk about religious issues. We need to also encourage the students to read about it. Sometimes, you know, we need to give them assignments, you know, to, to search about... Um, a about particular yes, thing, a particular, yeah. you know, okay? So that's, you know, one thing that we need. And also, parents have to also play a very important role when it comes to instilling and also um, emphasizing, you know, our values, our morals, our teachings uh, from time to time. Because if they don't see this actually practice or discussed at home, there is always a possibility that these kids or these children will not be able to cope with the challenges later on. So I think uh, we need to, to involve everybody to make sure that um, uh, these kids can overcome uh, these uh, challenges without any issues. Dear listeners, thank you very much for tuning in on 90.4 FM with me, Hatim al and Ahmed al in your show, The Choice. The, cho- the uh, topic of today will be repeated in the evening at 7 and uploaded on the SoundCloud tomorrow, inshallah. See you tomorrow with another episode. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.